have always said that, that every banker ought to attend the Washington trip at least once. Uh, some people uh, love it. They go year after year like me. Uh, some people absolutely hate it. Uh, they go once and they just get upset by the whole experience and they never go back. Uh, but you ought to go at least once. Uh, as I said, the, the government and the regulations have a huge effect on our industry and our livelihoods uh, and our customers' livelihoods. Uh, and it's important to go at least once so that you can see how the rules are made, um, what lobbying and lobbying and advocacy is all about and how it works. Um, really the biggest thing we do when we go is just educate the legislators about what community banks do. Um, to a large extent, they don't, they don't know the difference between Wall Street banks and community banks um, and what the Indiana banks might do for, differently from some of the large national banks. Uh, and we educate them about what we do and how we do business. Uh, and a lot of times they don't, they don't have a clue about that. Um, and so you, you ought to go. Also, the, the DC trip, in my opinion, is, is the absolute best networking uh, event that the IBA has. Uh, you'll have 60 to 80 bankers that are together for three days. Um, we have nice dinners. Um, it, it's a wonderful way to get to know people. And the, the friends that I've gotten around the state over the years, most of those stem from uh, the DC trip.